Hey guys, Nerdy Hatter here. Welcome to another toy haul here on the Nerdy Hatter channel. I got quite a few figures since my last toy haul and I think I'm going to start with the ones that I have in boxes because a few of these I bought off of eBay and they weren't in boxes so I don't have anything to show you guys so I thought I'd show you the ones with packaging first. A few of these you've already seen, some of these are from my Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 Wave 1 video so you've already seen them but this is just where I have a few of my figures right now so they're included with the ones that I've picked up. So first off I have the Spider-Man Homecoming Tech Suit Spider-Man. I recently picked this up. From what I see of this figure in the packaging, it looks like a really, really good figure. I've watched some reviews and people seem to really like it. I think it looks really, really cool. Next, I have the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 Rocket Raccoon figure with the little baby Groot inside with the Mantis build, the figure piece. I'm very excited to get Mantis build so I can have my full Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 roster. Uh, next, I have the Marvel Legends uh, Hulk from Avengers Age of Ultron. I'm trying to catch up on some of the Avengers figures that I don't have because I didn't buy them at the time of their release. So a lot of these are eBay pickups. That's why some of them don't have packaging and stuff. So I got the Age of Ultron uh, Hulk figure. This thing is a beast. It is really, really heavy. I was very... I wasn't expecting how heavy this figure was going to be when I pulled it out of the box. It was, it was a surprise. Next up, I have the uh, DC Multiverse Toys R Us exclusive Wonder Woman from the Wonder Woman movie. This is a vast improvement from this figure from the uh, Dawn of Justice wave. I don't know if you can see that, but the face sculpt was horrendous and I freaking hate that figure. And I'm so happy they came out with an updated sculpt. And from what I saw, they recently revealed an image of the Justice League Multiverse figures. It looks like that Wonder Woman head sculpt isn't as good as this one, so I'm very glad I picked these up before they ran out. Uh, next up are empty packages because the figures are right here. And those are the Walmart exclusives Falcon and Winter Soldier figures from Civil War. You can see Falcon right here on my flight stand that I recently acquired and I'm very, very happy with. It's a really impressive flight stand and I love how it looks. And I have Winter Soldier right here. I really love his figure. Um, I already did a modification to his to his arm. I didn't like the, uh, the color they used for the metal of the arm. It was a little too dark in my opinion. I didn't like how dark his arm appeared. I didn't think it looked as good as how it looks now because of my customization to it. Um, next up, this one is semi in packaging and that is the War Machine figure from the Iron Man Mark, I'll put it here because I don't know what it was, um, War Machine 2 pack and I think that was also for the Civil War line. Um, I love how this War Machine looks, but I did I really did not want the Iron Man figure that came with it in the packaging, so I was very happy to find that figure by itself. Um, some other ones that I picked up are two import figures. They're knockoff figures, and that is that is the Ant-Man from Captain America's Civil War. I was very, very impressed with these figures. The only thing that was a downside on them was the paint and I'll put some comparison shots at the end of this video, but these I have customized and changed the paint job on them to make them look a little bit better. Like Ant-Man, I put some metallic uh, silver on him and it really made the figure pop more. The other uh, knockoff figure is the Vision from Captain America Civil War and Avengers Age of Ultron. Is I was very impressed with this figure. I really, really like how they turned out. They look really, really nice. And some figures that I bought loose online on eBay are the Captain America Age of Ultron figure. I really like this suit much better than the Civil War suit. I think the colors pop a lot more and I was looking for this figure much more than the uh, Civil War figure. Also bought loose was the uh, Captain America Civil War Black Panther. This figure is just amazing. It has a crap ton of detail all over the figure and the articulation is really really good. It's awesome. I freaking love that figure. Um, and I think that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This was just a quick uh, toy haul. And stay tuned for a, a photo gallery at the end of this video so you can get a lot better up close pictures to all the figures I showed you in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys look forward to the next one. As always, I love making these videos for you guys. Until next time, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And of course, Nerdy Hatter out.